This game front walkthrough is brought to you by Best Buy. Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront, back again with more of our Dark Souls walkthrough. Uh, this is me beating the Centipede Demon. I don't, is that the actual name of it? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, this is a post-recording or post-narration. I already beat the, the Centipede Demon and I'm basically commentating on myself as I go through it. It's more of an instructional uh, walkthrough rather than a reactionary. I've done it a couple of times already. I like to do it for boss fights. So yeah, the centipede demon. Uh, you don't need to use your uh, magic. There's no need for it. Uh, basically, what you want to do is try your very hardest to cut off the tail of the demon. And the reason why you want to do that is because the tail drops an item that you're going to absolutely need uh, in the next part of you know after you beat this boss, uh, and it will let you walk through lava without taking significant damage. So what I'm doing right here is I'm leading it over to this large landmass in the middle and trying to get it to come a little bit closer so that I can run over to behind it uh, when it gets close enough and uh, start chopping away at its tail. As far as my equipment goes, I'm wearing uh, some light armor, but it has high uh, fire resistance. Uh, I actually don't know if that's really necessary. I'm not sure if any of the this boss's attacks actually use fire. Um, I'm not sure if lava and fire are one and the same thing. But you can see right here, I'm making my way over to its tail. I gotta watch out for that jump. And I didn't. <laughs> and yeah, just try to get that tail off. And once you get it off, it will turn into this small centipede demon that you can pretty easily kill. And once again, I'm actually using my uh, Lightning Yaito. Uh, it's I think it's plus two, so it's not that uh, it's not that impressive, but it's impressive enough for this boss. And then quickly switch your ring out. Uh, it's that orange one, the black and orange one. Oh my God, it's close! Well, once you have that ring on, uh, you take very little damage from uh, from fire or from the lava. And once you have that, this fight pretty much becomes a, a cakewalk because you have free reign over uh, over the boss. You can walk anywhere around it. Its, it's attacks are very limited in uh, in the range. It only pretty much goes straight ahead. So if you can avoid that, uh, you're pretty good. I love this music. That's pretty much <laughs> what I sound like when I'm playing Dark Souls. Yeah, so you can see right here, I'm just basically going around, chopping off appendages. Once you chop off an appendage, it will turn off, it'll turn into uh, that centipede thing. But once again, they're pretty easy to take out. It takes about three hits with my lightning Yaito. Um, the only issue is that they distract you, so you don't, you want to make sure you still have the boss in mind when you're trying to kill those things. Almost there, about halfway done. Now that uh, his most of his centipede things are off, I'm pretty much just going for the legs. Down some flasks like a boss. Hit your legs like a boss. Oh, cut that Achilles tendon. Alright, there we go. Once you do that, you have defeated the centipede demon. Gonna head towards the recently removed cloud of smoke over there. I'm not sure if there's anything else in this area. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure if I did, uh, I'll find out about it from you guys yelling at me. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now we're just going to go over here. There's a bonfire. And there's a Sun Knight. Who did not help me at all in my first run through against that centipede demon. So I should, I should kill him right now. Why? After all this searching, I still cannot... Alright guys, it. well, that's it for this video. 
Uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, what? comment, and subscribe. Uh -huh.